Episodes 1 to 6 introduce you to the basics of Noteful. If you find the following episodes difficult to understand, we recommend you watch the beginner's course for Noteful first. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 7 of this free Noteful course. Now that you know the basics of taking handwritten notes in Noteful, let's explore all the different items you can do in your notes to make them more engaging fun and beautiful. I use text for all my topics in my notes. And sometimes I use it for subheadings as well. As you have probably guessed, in today's video we will be focusing on adding text in Noteful. The old way of adding text to your notes in Noteful is using the plus icon and then going to text box. Now you can add the text box in a single tap. All the text in your app goes inside text boxes. This is perfect for a handwriting note taking app because it makes it easy to mix your handwriting and text. To start typing, simply tap in the box when it's selected, of course, or double tap when it's not selected. In Noteful, you can type your text with the keyboard, or you can use Scribble to handwrite your ideas for instant handwriting conversion. Scribble is an iPadOS feature that you can turn on and off in your iPad settings. Go to iPad settings, Apple Pencil, and turn on Scribble. This tutorial does not cover how to Scribble. We'll cover that in a separate video. Once you've typed or handwritten your text, you can resize the text box to fit in the section on your page where you want it on. The top of the keyboard has several features to make your text boxes more fun. To effect any changes on your text, you have to select it first. You can choose to select everything in the text box or just a few words. You can then format your text to make it bold italic, underline, or strike out. You can also change your font size, the font type. Noteful has a lot of font options and it also supports custom fonts. You can also change the color of your text. and its alignment. The square icon on the keyboard toolbar lets you customize your text box. You can also access similar options by simply tapping the text box and going to style. For your text boxes, you can choose the text color, background color, style, border size and the opacity of the text box. To see the background color of your text box, you must first choose a text box style, otherwise you won't be able to see the effects of your changes. Noteful has five styles, a solid border with an opaque feel, a solid border with a transparent feel, a solid border with no feel, a dash border with no fill, and a dotted border with no fill. Let's choose the solid border with the transparent fill for our text box. Once you have chosen your style, you can now choose the background color for your text box, and now you're able to see the changes. You can remove the border of your shape, 
or make it one of three sizes. You can resize your text box and its text using the dots on the four corners of the text box. You can also rotate the text box. Delete removes the text box from your page. That covers everything you need to know about adding text to your notes in note form. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming episodes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.